In this lesson, we will very briefly examine the history and details of the Warsaw Convention and its associated documents with regard to carrier liabilities. In 1929, it was established that civil air transport carrier liabilities and responsibilities needed to be addressed, as international air transportation was beginning to boom. The Warsaw Convention started this process. Over the years, the articles of the Convention were improved on by the Hague, Warsaw and Montreal Protocols, which now mean that firm rules on carrier responsibility and liability have been established. The Warsaw Convention mandates carriers to issue passenger tickets, requires carriers to issue baggage checks for check luggage, establishes the principle of absolute liability of the air carrier, and limits a carrier's liability to, at most, 100,000 special drawing rights, SDR, for death or personal injury, 17 special drawing rights per kilogram for cargo, and 1,000 special drawing rights for personal baggage. The liability values were originally given in Poincaré Francs, but this was amended at the Montreal Protocol to substitute the liability into special drawing rights. The value of a special drawing right is similar to a currency, and, much like a currency, its value varies over time. The approximate value of one special drawing right is one pound sterling. For an up-to-date value of the special drawing rights, please see the website of the International Monetary Fund, the IMF. As a result of the numerous emerging national airlines and operators during the previous century, there grew a wide variety of ticketing types and passenger and freight contracts. These proved very inefficient and were going against the harmonization that ICAO had tried to set up. To resolve this, the International Air Transport Association, IATA, drew up an agreement between ICAO member states to have a common ticketing, post and freight carriage system that holds common international liabilities. The Multilateral Interline Traffic Agreement, MITA, forms the basis of the Multilateral Interline System, MIS. Some 300 operators now accept each other's tickets and airway bills, and thereby their passengers and cargo traffic, on a reciprocal basis. A standard format for tickets and waybills exists, and resolutions govern how they are produced. This also means that a passenger can fly complex routes all around the world in one transaction and in one currency. This multilateral system helps save the world airline travel market $3 billion and demonstrates the effectiveness of cooperative practices.